So we got through the major scientific aspect of what back pain is or clinical aspect, but here we're going to talk about like what are you experiencing in back pain? What's going on? So obviously you're going to have back pain or low back pain, but then your doctor is going to check like ranges of motion. It's going to like palpate the area. Uh, it's going to move some legs or uh, rotate your back, like move side to side. Uh, but then these symptoms on the bottom, these are the symptoms that you want to see your doctor as soon as possible. So you have back pain with this. So it could be leakage of urine. It could be groin numbness, which is like your genital area being numb. Uh, it could be weakness of the legs to the point that you can't move them. You could have fever, low back pain with fever, or you could have low back pain with that is not improving with anything you do. So these are could be serious diseases, <clears throat> and you want to check them out ASAP. So differential diagnosis, what else could it be? Uh, the most common one I want to talk about is spinal stenosis, which is uh, the spine, basically the space of the spine is narrowing and that can lead to conditions like back pain. And that's typically happens on the lumbar area. Uh, sciatica, like we mentioned, is when the disc just pushes out and then it hits a bundle of nerves that go down to your leg, the back of the leg. Uh, Codequina syndrome is also called horsetail. Codequina means horsetail because at the very end of the tailbone, you have uh, nerve endings from the spine, like the very last nerves. And if that starts degenerating, which can happen in multiple sclerosis, it can also lead to back pain or other symptoms like leakage of the urine. Uh, visceral disease like we talked about it can be based on the organs like the abdominal the belly organs and then many more that i put on the list on the other side so you're free to read them and learn more about them if you're if you like to sequelae so what happens if you don't treat back pain if you continue to think that back pain could go away which tends to happen in some people well, unfortunately, especially depending on the nature of the job, sometimes back pain could happen because the demands, the physical demands, you can't meet those physical demands anymore. So you might have to take a few breaks, work less, or go to the doctor. Uh, but one of the things that back pain really brings a lot of problems in our society is the quality of life. It really decreases it. So that could be from depression because you're not doing the activities you want to do. You're not playing with your grandchildren like you wanted to. You're unable to do the activities at home. You can't clean anymore. And that's going to cause a way of dis disability and even feel like you're not useful, therefore lead to depression. Uh, there are cases where the back pain is so severe that you have to be dependent on others. You have to if you have to go up or down the stairs and you don't have an elevator or a device to help you go down, you're going to have to ask somebody. It could be a nurse, a neighbor, or your children, whoever is willing to give you a hand to help you on that. And that can also be, for some people, to give up the independence is very discouraging, to say the least. Now, if you decide to go to the doctor, what will what will happen? What are you? What could you expect? Again, every doctor is different. They're gonna take your history a little bit different, and according to your main diagnosis, they're gonna treat you differently. But if it's low back pain, for the typical part, they're gonna palpate your back. They're gonna check it out. They're gonna move it in different directions. They're gonna do orthopedic tests, which is like, you know, mechanical innervations to see where the pain is coming from and what kind of pain you have and sometimes do imaging which could tell like is there a bone broken or is there other tissues being involved like an x-ray checks the bones which you see on the uh, lower left and then on the upper right 
you're gonna see an MRI of the soft tissue. So that's the yeah, that's a that's an image which costs more, but at the same time it gives you much more information than sim than a simple X-ray.